Missouri is set to carry out its first execution of 2024. Good evening. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. Brian Dorsey was convicted of the murders of two family members back in 2006. Dorsey has spent the last 17 years in prison for the mid-Missouri murders. And today, vigils have been held across the state in support of Dorsey. Our Annie Crawl joins us live outside the St. Louis Circuit Court where a vigil wrapped up. Annie. Brian Dorsey is convicted of killing his cousin and her husband back in 2006. Demonstrators were here at 3 o'clock this afternoon, just three hours before his scheduled execution. Brian Dorsey and his legal team are out of options to stop his execution. The U.S. Supreme Court denying Dorsey's clemency petition for good behavior hours before it was scheduled on Tuesday. Earlier demonstrators in St. Louis tell me they object to the 11th execution since Governor Mike Parson has been in office. It just underscores how wrong it is to kill. Somewhere we have a sign that says, why do we kill people who kill people to show that killing people is wrong? On December 23rd, 2006 in New Bloomfield, north of Jefferson City, prosecutors say Dorsey went to his cousin, Sarah Bonnie, and her husband, Ben, to borrow money to pay drug dealers. A monster killed my cousin. And that monster is crack cocaine. Dorsey shot and killed them, then sexually assaulted his cousin Sarah's body, according to prosecutors, as their four-year-old daughter slept in another room. Jenny Gerhauser, cousins with both Dorsey and Sarah, testified at the trial on Dorsey's behalf and spoke at her cousin Sarah's funeral. And I truly felt somebody needed to speak for Sarah, just as I'm speaking for Brian right now because I love them the same. One of Dorsey's attorneys, Megan Crane, says he was going through a drug-induced psychosis during the crime. That was never mentioned in the initial trial. He has been convicted of this terrible crime that he doesn't even remember, you know? Yet he's taken responsibility for it. Brian Dorsey issued a final statement just moments ago that read in part to all of the family and loved ones I shared with Sarah and to all of the surviving family and loved ones of Ben. I am totally deeply overwhelmingly sorry. Words cannot hold the just weight of my guilt and shame reporting live in St. Louis. Annie crawl five on your side tonight.